do we use them? Are they legal? Are they necessary? All that good stuff. So, flippers, or extensions we call them, but we, they're called flippers because they flip out. Um, you know, they come in various different sizes. You've got them um, two feet past the deck, three feet, four feet. I would never, I wouldn't go no longer than four feet past the deck, and that's even stretching it, really stretching it. Um, but they're used to extend our deck length, obviously, um, to get more vehicles on. So when these trailers are made, like my trailer is a four slash five car. That's how it's sold, four slash five. So that means, more of anything, five really, really small cars. Which, if you think about it, means you're about eight inches from being a five car. That's literally how close it is at four slash five, if you know how to load properly. So, if you do that, add the flippers, now you have a five car all the time. Like with no issues, you have a five car. Now the problem that comes in is they can be very dangerous if not built properly. Like I don't believe just anybody should be building flippers. There's a lot of numbers. It's a numbers game. Uh, it's a weight distribution game. You know, like I have, I only have one guy that I will trust to build my flippers. He's built every set that I put on and I drive 600 miles to get this done. 600 miles I drive to get this done. Because I'm not willing to risk um, people's lives, my business, or none of that, over being cheap. You know, I'm just not willing to do it. So, the, it, it's a gray area whether they're legal slash illegal. Because um, honestly, you're not allowed to have any overhang. None. Your full load must be contained within the trailer of 53 feet per FMCSA regulations. And somebody's gonna say, well, hot shot flat betters can have it, not on a divisible load. If the load is divisible, meaning it's divided, and there's more than one section, it can't have overhang. Do they do it? Yeah. Do we do it? Yeah. Is it legal? No. But it's one of them, one of them risk to reward type deals. And there's a couple places, the only place I know that really hammers on that aspect of it is uh, Missouri. So now somebody's gonna say, well, I see these stingers, these car carriers going down the road, they got four feet off the back, and." six feet off the back, four feet off the front, like, they've got all kinds of overhang. They're a car carrier. If you're a car carrier, car hauler, you're allowed the overhang. You're allowed up to 80 feet now. Even though it's divisible. But here's what makes that car carrier so special. And it has nothing to do with the length the, the visible load, the, the commodity, none of that. They can haul a vehicle on the power unit. If you have a rack above your truck and you can put a car down over there, you're doing good. You are a legal car carrier. It's got nothing to do with the stinger setup. It's got nothing to do with the high rail or the, the low mount or none of that. It's strictly, can you carry a vehicle on your power unit? 
That's what it comes down to. So, when doing this stuff, you just got to be careful. You've got to know your laws. You've got to know where you're going. You've got to be willing to pay the consequences if you get caught. Like I said, nine out of ten times they will not mess with you. But there's another aspect of it that, in my mind, is the scary part. It's not the legalities. It's not building it. None of that. It's driving with them. It's driving. So people ask me all the time, Hotshot, why do you leave your, your flips out? Your extensions are always out. You're empty and you have your flippers out. Why is that? Well, when my flippers are out, I need to drive different. When my flippers are out and I'm making a turn, I'm now about nine feet wide in essence. I'm nine feet wide at the front and I've got about 10 feet of tail swing in the back. So if you play with your mindset and sometimes they're out, sometimes they're not, you, you get used to, oh, this time I can drive like this and this time I can drive like this. Instead of just saying, you know what? I'm just going to drive like this and leave them out. And that's what I do. I leave them out so I know they're out. There's no... She's sat on my... There's no question in my mind how to drive this truck. Because you can take tighter turns without the flippers. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about on why... Uh, they can, why, why they stick out like that, and I've seen guys rip a dry van right in half, just shoot, get a cut it, and cut it like a knife, um, and then you got your tail swing in the back, where if you're not used to it, you're not practicing, you're not prepared, you're going to smash a car, that's just how it works, unfortunately, so, to me, they're well worth it. They, they are working it. My trailer came with extensions. You pretty much need extensions with my trailer. Um, so, and the money you make is, is a big difference. That one car Increases your revenue by 33, your profit by 33 percent. You know, say, well, how is that? You're adding more cars, you're adding more weight, you're adding more, more all that, right? So, first car is fuel. Second car is maintenance and daily expenses and all that. Third car is profit. So by adding that fourth car, you're going to get more profit. The, the profit numbers break down, you know, as, I, as I've always said, between one is fuel, one's expenses, one's profit. You add one, you got that fourth profit. Now, that one and two usually don't take the full, the full car. So my truck cost me about 40 cents a mile on fuel. So that car's paying me 90 cents a mile, all miles. Still profiting 50%, 50 cents a mile off that car. And the same thing with the second one. So if you take one car and you add it, which should be 25, and you add your other two percentages of leftover, you should come right around 33 to 35% increase. And, and then when you move to a bigger truck, more capacity, you know, it goes from there. So, the flippers are well worth it. You just got to make sure when they're being made, they're being made properly. Um, you know, like, I, I'm sure Pete, you've seen my flippers plenty of times. They both, 
have, I believe it's one and a half square two. Square two. Like, I, I don't have little bar stock, three quarters, and I don't have all that. And the bar that I'm using for the uh, the front to, to pivot on, that's one, one and a half inch solid pipe. She's serious. That is some serious pipe. Them flippers are heavy. And I've loaded stuff onto them and still seen them flex. Uh, my last set of flippers I broke. Like, just straight snap. They didn't snap in half. It just bent them down to the ground. So, if you're brand new, get used to your truck and trailer before you add the flippers. Um, and if you're going to add flippers and you're not experienced, I would use the, do the back flippers first. Them front ones, they're... They work very well. They make you a lot, a lot of money. But they can cost you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of more, more money. More, more money. More, more money. And we don't want to give up no more, 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 more money. So, if uh, you all want to get into the game, start with the three. And as I've said before, we got a guy on the e-logs. Three car wedge with a Ram 3500. He's around six G's a week, average seven ish. Comes back to the dispatch and he doesn't have flippers. No flippers. What do you think is going to happen if that boy gets flippers? We'll find out if he ever listens to Hot Shot. But, uh, it's my boy. So, guys, I hope this answered all your questions. If you have any more, let me know. I shot wedge at Gmail. Holler at your boy. Um, and if you guys have a topic of, like, questions you want to ask me to be answered in the on the video, just come with it. I'll do it. Um, don't forget, we got the throne account. You guys over there are learning every day. I, um... I've been watching because I've been driving it real busy so I talk on there but man I'm watching these guys go back and forth and you know they, they're just networking guys have never talked before a day in their life never, they didn't know each other but they've got common they've got something in common now with car hauling so we link them together like the one guy's getting advice on buying trucks and running lanes and making money and how to gross and dude, there's knowledge 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 but without the riffraff and nonsense you want to see riffraff and nonsense go back to my video about the um i'll put it up here somewhere about the uh, the extortion and everybody's like oh well you're on the wrong road you knew better okay there's a couple things that come with that first of all it said local delivery. Second of all, it's not about the fine or the money. It's about the confiscation of my property and telling me I can only get it back if I plead guilty for five grand or give them ten. The minute they offered, oh, well, if you plead guilty, I'll cut it in half. That's bribery and extortion took my rights because you knew what I needed to do to keep my business running. And if anybody can't see that, you don't need to be running a business. You have not heard me once complain about the ticket. Because I'll fight a ticket, I'll take a ticket. Matter of fact, when I get violations, I ask for tickets. Don't just give me a violation. You give me something we can take to court. Because if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if you know I'm wrong, what's the problem with taking me to court? Old man told me one time, proper conduct fears no exposure. 
think about it. Proper conduct fears no exposure. What's that mean? So, um, yeah, let's get back on topic now. So if you're interested in getting a little knowledge with the throat account, like I said, it is $5 a month. That keeps the riffraff out, and the knowledge I've been seeing going around, nobody's backed out, so obviously it's worth it to them. Um, and we got JD Factors that's getting guys money within 24 hours. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, ho holler at Howard down in the links is his information. You can get Victoria for that fuel card. I'm saving 60, 70 cent a gallon driver. Um, saving big money, big money. So, y'all want to save money? Go ahead and get you some. But, uh, all right, guys, we're going to get out and get off of here. I got seven miles in my pickup. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Hit that 